<laughs> Let's play! Whoa! Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and you all may call me Pharaoh, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Super Liminal. Last time left off, the game was really getting trippy, and uh, it looks like we're kind of reaching the end game of sorts. Uh, I was going to tack it on to the last episode, but I'm afraid that it's just going to go on for a while. Unusual. It appears you have entered the Sonascult Diagnostic Framework. Patients do not have access to this dream. Oh, oh, is that, is that what I was, what I was supposed to do? Yeah, it was, okay. I just kept hearing music playing, I'm like, huh? <laughs> is it coming from within you? Oh god, why, why are you like... Oh, is it, like, is it legit above me? Diagnostic warning. Unrealistic use of dream objects may result in dream integrity fail state state states. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's go with that. Okay, my god. There we go. Oh. Oh. Am I supposed to make it super huge so it keeps breaking up something here? Uh, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Ah. Okay, now I'm tiny. Oh, maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. Okay, hold on. Ah. Uh, oh my god, now it's freaking humongous. So I think what I'm supposed to do is do this so I can reach the buildings up there, I think. Well, how do I do that? Oh, no, wait, I can, yeah, just... Where'd it go? I... I don't know where it went. All right, I guess there's no way to find out. That looks odd. Am I on the side of the table? Oh, no, I'm on the floor. Oh. Okay. Is this a glitch, or is this what the game... I... I don't know. Nope, okay, that was not a glitch. That was just a game being weird with me. Diagnostic warning. Paradox prevention protocols may not be fully implemented. Implemented. Y yeah. No, I, I can... I can see that. Uh... Okay, you... I... Oh, where the hell did you go? I hope that's what I'm supposed to do. I am at a loss here. Oh, God, but now I'm sideways again. All right. Okay. Wait, oh, my God. Am I still not... I'm not even on the right plane as these guys? All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. I want to go inside Jingles, whatever the hell that place is called. All right. Oh, no, not again. <laughs> All right, hold on. Maybe if I just line myself up a little bit. Diagnostic warning. Paradox prevention protocols may not be fully implemented. Implemented. Can I just go in here now? G Jungles Bistro. 
I mean, is there even some place I can... Can I go in here? No, it's just a reflection. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Oh, wait. There looks to be a door there. <sighs> Thing is, I made myself so damn small, like I'm moving at like a snail's pace here. Is that even a door? Or is that just a... Nope. Oh, God. What am I doing in my life? I'm kind of glad I made another episode because if I tack this on to the last one, I would be here for a while. Six minutes in, I haven't even done anything here. All right, I've been running around for a couple minutes here. I'm still not kind of getting it. Because, like, you, you see how I you hear music here, but I tried going through various places and I can't find anything. But you know what? Actually, not I think about it. I mean, it's getting very trippy. And... I think I was close to doing something here where it's like, what happens I point next to each other? When do I bring this in with me? Ah, there, that makes things weird. Please paradox from creating any refrains. Explosive drain overload. overload. May result. Please paradox overload. I think I did it right. I think we're finally doing that explosive mental overload thing. Oh, jeez, finally! It took a while to figure that out. Ah, oh. now what's happening though? Oh, whoa! Okay. Like, why do I feel like maybe this is more... What the hell? This is more than just, like... A dream state. What happens if it's, like... I don't know. Deeper meaning. Like, this is, like, limbo or something. I, I, I don't know. I don't know anymore. Uh... Oh? Oh, God. Oh. Oh, oh. I... I don't know. Oh, jeez. This is so damn weird. Okay, we'll see. Now I can't bring objects in here. All right. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And many years ago... I had a dream. I found myself in a place where I understood that each of us begins as nothing. Where everything I perceived was shaped by seeing it exactly the way I wanted to. White space. Yeah, this is pretty white space. But, you know, even the whole aspect of dreams, it is... It's like a remarkable end, like, like whoa, because dreams, yeah? Like, oh. It's very loud, I apologize. I might have to do some of the editing here. But, like, dreams are, like, a pretty damn interesting phenomenon that we assume all species have. Like, anytime I watch my dog sleep, he, like, he's, like, you know, barking a little bit in his sleep, and it's like, he must be dreaming of something, yeah? I'd imagine. What does that say? Well, hold on, I missed some of these. Relax at... Erase me. Female toads. Minerals. Oh, alright. Ooh. Did not like that noise. Not an exit. Okay, but... Well, now I seem stuck. Do I climb up? Ma maybe? Alright, 
hold on. Ooh. Hmm. Oh. Just gotta follow the signs. I mean, I really haven't said this yet in the game, but it is pretty damn beautiful, too. I mean, it's not the best graphics-wise, but... It has another sense of beauty to it. I'm definitely getting that motif of, like, uh... Oh, hello. Whoa. I'm definitely in that motif of, um... How do I say this? Of, like... Ugh. Hold on. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I don't know where the hell I'm at anymore. Okay. Of, like, the motif of, um... Cro the chessboard. Jeez. But in white space, I also face the greatest challenge I could imagine. Because with a lifetime of life itself behind me, and all of the weight that it carried, I realized that seeing things the way I wanted to was not as easy as it used to be. Dr. Pierce, I wish I could follow exactly what you're saying, but... I don't know if I can. I'm trying, though. Uh, I I don't know. I'm guessing this is the way out. <laughs> Wait a minute. But I couldn't. What am I missing here? Hmm. What? Oh my god, this game's too damn trippy for my own liking. Alright. Alright. I'm glad I figured it out quickly, though. Oh, no, not again. Yes, here. Hmm. Once we get to something with the windows. Which way did I come from before? I can't even remember. This definitely does make me want to play games like Stanley Parable and Antichamber again. Well, Antichamber again. I haven't played Stanley Parable yet, I know. I'm weird. I don't know why I haven't touched it. Uh, Antichamber, I couldn't... I didn't even beat it, but I was... I got so stuck on it. Alright, hold on. Do I gotta do something with the coloring here? Because... Notice how... You got two of the same color here, and then you got blue and then beige what changes when I go through this again the same no yeah it's just the same what am I supposed to do here game If I go back the way I came, it's just... It's just the same. Why was I go backwards? I feel like that is something I had to do eventually. Like go backwards in something. <sighs> no, I... 
I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm so confused right now. The music's called me, don't get me wrong. It's just... Hmm. Like, I don't see a thing that I can grab. I can't, like, jump up back there. Like, it almost seems like if I avoid... Can I just not go straight? Yeah. Because <sighs> that's like, it's, there didn't seem to be any doors in a sense. There we go. It's like a weird cityscape. You're well beyond dreaming now, and further out than anyone has ever come back from. But we hope that you won't get discouraged. After all, if this is a place of pure perspective, isn't it also a place where a different point of view could make anything possible. Isn't that why you came here? I don't know why I came here, to be quite honest with you, Doctor. Oh, okay. So, is it... Oh! So, wait, what, what can I not step on? The white spaces? No, or the black spaces. Okay, the black spaces I don't go on. Nope, never mind. Uh, all right, hold on, really quick. Or am I supposed to keep it on the board? Like, n like now I'm safe. Hmm. If I hold on to it, that's not good either, yeah? Okay. It's all the way over there. Yeah, so it almost seems like if it's on the space I want to be on, so like right here, it's fine. But... What's gonna happen? I like as soon as I go through here, I'm gonna fall again. Now if I take it with me, <laughs> like am I am I supposed to just take it and place it down other places? Oh damn it! I'm so confused when these when these be done here. Like or is it supposed to be kind of like a chess game where <laughs> I don't know. Or is it some type of weird maneuvering with the chess piece? Damn. Yeah, let's let's try something here. If I so, so I place it right here, yeah. And before I go on there, like, like is is that what you want me to do, game? It seems weird, but... It's getting me closer to where I need to go. I, I don't... I don't... Oh, damn it! <sighs> Crap, wh where's the... where's the piece? <laughs> oh, damn. Or if I just walk the edges, does that do something? No. Damn, I, I think I had the idea right, but I... I don't have my chest piece anymore. Let's try that again. <laughs> now, once again, this could be a thing where I'm solving a puzzle... ...incorrectly? 
I didn't realize there was another damn piece. That would have made life so much simpler. <laughs> Here I am trying to like to manipulate it so damn different, but ah, uh, you know it's weird. I thought I did see. Um, another chess piece, but, all right. Yay! Now, is this just a repeat? Actually, it's nothing. Hmm. All right, gotta gotta think about this. I, I gotta get up there. Problem is, how do I do so? Like, I feel like there's something to do with this. To my knowledge, not that I see. Hmm. Like, I, I don't know what the, uh, I don't know what the barrier is around here, you know? Like, I wouldn't be surprised if there are, like, a set of stairs that I'm missing here or something, but I don't know. Oh, damn it. I really gotta do that more often. Can I go? Now I can go through it. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, that's how we do it. <laughs> Jeez, sorry that took me a while to figure out. Just a little bit more. That should be enough. Okay, maybe not. Just, just a tad bit more. Just fix this too. All right. Oh, this looks even trippier than the last. And, wait a minute, do you want me to fall through? Hold on. Maybe eventually I find a I'll find a door. Or oh, there we go. <laughs> I was like, or just glitch out. Oh, yep. Oof. All right, let's just let's go straight, or else. Actually, this really hurts my eyes. Any, any which way. All right. Oh. <gasps> Are we almost done? What time is it? <laughs> It's... Oh, I missed it. 7.59 a.m. It's almost... Is it almost time to wake up? 8 a.m. Yay? <gasps> Yay! Okay. Are we... Are we not done? Oh, wow, we're not. Oh. Maybe we are. Wait, how did I leave this? Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And by now, you may have realized that all of this has happened exactly the way it was supposed to. You see, everyone who comes to the Institute does so because they feel that they are no longer in control of something important to them. Often than not, the problem is not that the problems we face can't be solved. The problem is that we become so afraid of failure 
that we refuse to see our problems from a new perspective. And so, we do the same things again and again and again. And therein, of course, we find exactly the failure we were looking for. I feel like I should be saying something here, but I feel like I'm just gonna let this take over. Your life will always be a struggle, and you will always have problems. But today, you have the chance to see things differently. Even though it meant facing obstacles that seemed impossible at first, you thought outside the box, and you overcame them. Because you saw things from every angle, you understood them for what they really were. Because you kept moving forward, no matter how far off the path you were told you were headed, or how unexpected it became, you found your way. of you will say that none of this was real, so how could it have really meant anything? But just like the power of perspective itself, it will have been as real as you believed it to be. All you've got to do is wait. Oh. I think I woke up. Yeah! I sure did. Ladies and gentlemen, I... That was... Super liminal. That was a... Very interesting game. Uh... <laughs> it, it, it was kind of short -er. I mean, like, I probably, what, took me... Meh. Yeah, probably two and a half hours, three hours... To get through it, so... On par of what many other people were experiencing. Um, maybe there wasn't... I don't know if I saw absolutely everything I needed to in the game or what, but... That was very interesting. I enjoyed it. Like, once again, I'm glad I followed the development of the game... Solely for the purpose of this whole thing about perspective. And I kind of like the message that Dr. Pierce was kind of giving there at the end. It's... Like, life is a struggle. Like, no matter... I would say no matter who you are, but then, then again, we, we, I guess we can't forget that there are various individuals out there who are just... They really don't have much to worry about, whether it be due to family influences or just a legit crap ton of money that they don't know what the hell to do with. But, um... I think for the average person in the world... There's many things that go on in life that we have no control over, that we are going to have have to struggle with, that there's obstacles in the way, but it's more so how you deal with those obstacles, how you push along in life, you know? Because I try, I try being as optimistic as I can, but there are times where, like, it, it gets tiring, and it's like, you wish things were better, and you can't s see it at that point in time that things will get better. But, yeah. But if you kind of think outside the box, and look at life and things in a new perspective, it could prove positive. <laughs> Thanks for dreaming. Well, thank you, Pillow Castle, for uh, developing this pretty damn fun and interesting game and I hope you all enjoyed it too uh 
I would say go ahead and experience it for yourselves. But hopefully, maybe you guys did. If you watched the first episode or something. Um, now, I didn't... I forgot to say or say this, but... I believe currently... It is on the Epic Dream... Epic Dream Store? Epic Game Store. Uh, I think the timed thing. Then eventually it'll be on Steam. But, uh... Yeah, I believe the game is normally... $20 or so. So if you guys want to experience it for yourself, try it out. I think you guys will like it. Um, once again, it's more so if you haven't seen me solve all the puzzles here, but yeah. No, I, I liked what this was, for sure. And yeah, how many levels were there? Hmm. So, introduction, optical, cubism, blackout, clone, dollhouse, labyrinth, white space and retrospect so yeah um i'm not i'm not sure which ones really got to me that were difficult dollhouse wasn't terrible but it's like i got kept getting stuck a lot how come i couldn't fit through that door uh white space definitely i made that harder for myself than what it was cloning too i have a feeling using perspective i didn't have to legit click it all the time but that was me. Blackout was scary, but not terrible. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, that, that was a nice little game. And I'm glad I went through it. Once again, thank you to Pillowcastle for supplying me a review code and to go along with it. Uh, like I said, this wasn't going to be an episode of What's Gaming, but I figured this would have been something I would have enjoyed full on. And because it was short enough anyway, I'm like, you know what? Do full full-blown LP and I'm glad I did. So, uh, yeah. Once again, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed my Let's Play of Superliminal. Love you all so much. Have a great day. Thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, feel free to leave a comment, a like, and subscribe for future content, where I aim to release a video a day. And if you do subscribe, make sure to click on the bell symbol to be notified once new videos are uploaded. You can also catch me streaming from time to time on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, and join my Discord server to relax with other gamers. All this information is in the description box below. Have a great day.